Welcome to RPG Community College. Today I'm going to be showing you how I built Wendwag in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. And actually this is a... Wendwag's a pretty simple character. She's just a ranged DPS, so really all you gotta do is select the right feats, and then just right click on whatever you want dead, and just watch her do her thing. It really doesn't get more complicated than that. Let's start by talking about what classes that I invest your levels into. Going with 5 levels of fighter just seemed to make a lot of sense to me, because you get the extra combat feats, you also get access to the weapon specialization feat, and the weapon training ability, and these will both help out your DPS quite a bit. And after 5 levels of fighter, I start investing into Slayer, and specifically I take the Vanguard archetype. Investing into Slayer is going to give Wendewag access to study target, which is just a nice damage and accuracy increase, kind of like weapon training from the fighter. And it also gives her access to sneak attack dice, which is very useful for a character that is trying to attack as many times in a round as possible, which with Wendewag we're definitely going to be doing. And we go for the Vanguard archetype because this allows us the ability to give our entire team one teamwork feat. And I chose to go with Outflank for that because Outflank is is a very is probably one of the strongest teamwork feats that you can get. And with Wendwag's ability to just give it to her entire team uh, whenever the, whenever they need it, this saves the rest of your team from having to invest in that feat, and they can invest into you know other sources of damage increases. The downside of this is that you're not going to have it up all the time, but when you do need it, it'll be there. Being a Slayer is also going to give us access to a couple uh, advanced rogue talents, like Crippling Strike and Opportunist, and these just synergize very well with characters that are trying to get as many attacks in one round as possible. In first skill points, I invested them into Athletics and Perception. I chose Perception because it's just always useful. I think Athletics is a pretty good pick for Wendewag too, because she's got a decent strength score, and she doesn't have to wear heavy armor, so she doesn't get the, the armor check penalty to Athletics checks. So that makes her a really strong candidate for the person in your party that has to invest in the Athletics. And when you get attribute points from leveling up, just throw them all into Dexterity. But now let's take a look at what feats I chose to take. I think a lot of people might be a little bit confused as to why I would take Rapid Shot and 2 weapon Fighting, so let me take a minute to really explain that. With Wendewag, I use uh, Throwing Axes for weapons, and Throwing Axes are ranged weapons that can be dual wielded. So you can take the 2 weapon Fighting feats and still benefit from taking the Rapid Shot feat. The problem with this is, is you have a pretty big penalty to your attack from using both 2 weapon Fighting and Rapid Shot. You end up with a minus four penalty to your attacks from using both rapid shot and two weapon fighting, which early on is pretty significant. But if you just focus on in increasing it with various buffs, it, it's really not that bad. And later on, you get mythic feats that completely remove these penalties, so it's not even that big of a deal. But early on, spells like Bless and Cat's Grace will do wonders to help Wendewag actually hit stuff. I actually even used Redu Reduce Person. While this does lower her damage a, a little bit, it does give her a much better chance at actually hitting stuff. And the rest of the feats are actually kind of self-explanatory if you're just to uh, read the description of what they are. Weapon focus is just going to increase your chance to hit. We take the two weapon fighting feats just to have more attacks each round. And then a lot of the other feats are just there to increase the damage that she's going to be dealing. Like weapon specialization, deadly aim, improved critical, accomplished sneak attacker, double slice. Like all of these things... Like, all they're really doing, essentially, is just increasing the damage that she does with each hit. With each hit. Which bonuses like these really shouldn't be overlooked, because even if they're only applying, like, two or three extra damage, that damage is getting multiplied by each attack that she does. So, per round, it ends up being much more than just, like, two or three damage. Especially since Wendewag can get, like, six, seven, eight attacks in in a round. So, if each one of those attacks is doing three more damage... That's uh, quite a bit more damage each round that she's dealing. And there really isn't a whole lot of else to talk about when it comes to feats. It's all, they're all pretty much just there to increase damage. I guess I can talk a little bit about crippling strikes. I think it's important to know that, that reducing an enemy's strength not only reduces the damage that they deal, but it also reduces their accuracy. A lot of enemies rely on strength for their attack stat. So if you're reducing their strength, you're also reducing their chance of hitting you, and if they can't hit you, then you just win the fight. So Crippling Strike is a, a very nice uh, advanced rogue talent to be getting. 
It's a shame that we get it so late. It would be nice to get it earlier. Oh, yeah, and there's weapon finesse, which probably seems really weird to people that actually know what's going on here. But that can be explained by talking about mythic levels, which is a great way to segue over to talking about that. So for our first mythic level, we take the ability ranging shots. This is probably one of the abilities that I'm the least sure about in the list, because it, it's really good early on when, when Wendwag doesn't have a lot of accuracy. But as you get further into the game, it pretty much becomes useless. Like you're never going to get more than like a plus one or two to your attack rolls because of just how accurate she's going to end up being and how often she's going to be hitting shit. So it's just one of those things that's it's good when you first get it, but it definitely becomes a lot worse later on. But I don't really know what else to take at that low of a level, so that's why it's there. Next we got Rapid Shot Mythic, and this just gets rid of the minus two penalty from using Rapid Shot. This is the same with Two Weapon Fighting Mythic, it just removes the minus two penalty from Two Weapon Fighting. Having a Distracting Shot is going to make your melee DPS very happy. Rupture Restraints is useful for just avoiding crowd control effects. Then we have Weapon Finesse Mythic. And this explains why we took the Weapon Finesse feat, so that we can take the Mythic feat and allow us to add our Dexterity to our damage instead of our Strength. And that's going to allow us to scale our Attack, Damage, and AC all with one stat, which will make buffing Wendelog with things like Reduced Person and Cat's Grace very powerful. Ever Ready is really strong because we get the Opportunist Advanced Rogue Talent, and that's going to eat up our Attack of Opportunity every round. So when we're using Outflank and one of our teammates crit, we also want to get that attack of opportunity, so this is where Ever Ready comes in and helps us out with that, increasing the maximum attacks of opportunity that we can have each round, which further increases the amount of attacks that Wendelag gets each round. It, get, it starts getting pretty nutty the later you get into the game. Improve Critical Mythic, just make sure Critical Strikes hit harder. Defensive Study is just going to give her a little AC and Deadly Aim Mythic, just give her some more damage. And at this point in the game, Really, Wendelog should be hitting like a truck, and with like haste and proccing opportunist, you should be hitting like nine times a round, which is just completely ridiculous. She's she's really gonna be pumping out the damage. But yeah, that about covers everything. I hope you enjoy the build, and if you want to continue your education, enrollment here is free. All you gotta do is like the video and subscribe. But thank you for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two. I wish you the best of luck in all of your endeavors, and I hope to see you again soon.